Hello and welcome back to the Starving Electrician channel. I know it's been a while. Sorry, some things. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to cover uh, wiring up, well, wiring some branch circuits, uh, uh, landing the grounds, landing the branch circuits themselves uh, underneath uh, breakers, stuff like that. This is an older video because uh, I wanted to share it because I twist my grounds together and I got a little bit of heat for that, and some people will tell me it's not code. I've never been shot down on it or anything like that. Just That's just the way that I've, I've done it for so many years. But people brought it to my attention that that might be, uh, it's more of the manufacturer's um, specs that they want, maybe just like uh, one ground per lug or two or what have you like that. It's not current carrying, so I, I don't really see the problem with it, but... Uh, that's why I'm posting this and I'm kind of addressing it here. So when you see me twisting the, the grounds together, uh, check with your manufacturer's specs, you know, when you put in your panel and then uh, see if it's uh, if it's okay to put multiple grounds underneath the lug. But uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy and then uh, have some tacos and beer after. I know I will. Each one of your circuits at home are called branch circuits. We're not going to go into a bunch of different wire sizing. Again, that's going to be a little classroom talk. We're doing a little theory. There's brains with this good looks too. So we're going to do the same thing with these. But these, be very careful. Score it very lightly. And then it pulls off. See that? You pull it down. Push up on that insulation. That paper pops off. We're going to do it to all four. that nothing to it I see people scoring all the way down the Romex you you're it not only is it a pain in the ass but you're looking to nick the wires as you're going down with them. you got a blade you're going down that you're, you're gonna nick that up here we're just scoring I'm not even going down to the wires I just put a little score mark in here kind of like a serrated edge pull it down easy enough boom so what I do, I start with the grounds. Do the easiest. Grounds can be all put together. They're, they're not a conductor. Again, think of them as a drain. So me, some people put them separate. If you got a lot of neutrals, you're wasting a lot of space by putting one in each one. Just for space sake, I do the same thing with these. I just, I do like four of them together. Put that like that. So I have a thing to grab, grab onto, and I twist. And by the time you're done, it's like one individual wire. I take it, push it back to the corner of the panel, in. You can't see it, I should have came on the other side, but whatever. I leave it a little long, come to the middle, and just stick my finger in there and simply bend it straight right into my screw where it's going to go. I'm holding it right there. Clip it off. And go straight into my lug. Just like that. That's four circuits in no time. Okay? Now, we have our neutrals. The neutrals have to be landed individually in each one of these lugs because they are current carrying conductors. This is AC, alternating current. AC goes from the hot to the neutral, back and forth, it alternates. So if there's a light on, it's gonna go through the light and back to the neutral into here. You can pull this off and you get zapped by it because it's, now it's carrying current. So each one has to be individual under each lug because two current carrying conductors produce heat, one has more of a load on it, they can uh, create oxidation, and then now that you don't have the, that good contact on them, so then they get oxidation in between them, they separate, that's where the arcing starts and you have a fire. So they make it so we've got to put them individually on their own under each, each lug, so that's what we're going to do right here. Alright, nothing to it. Now these are all the same gauge wire. Of course, all the wires are different. This is 
just kind of get an idea of terminating the panel. Blend it in here. Told you a little bit why. Again, if you want to be an apprentice electrician, maybe go through an apprenticeship school, have someone teach you. Come to, come to Electric City if you're a veteran. We'll teach you, we'll teach you why, we'll teach you the theory, we'll teach you the code. But for this, this is a basic how-to. And uh, because I'm nice, I'm doing it. I don't have to do this. Well, I'm the boss, I'm paying myself, so yeah, what are you gonna do? The boss. The boss of a one-man show. Has its advantages, disadvantages too. Okay, there's our neutrals and our ground. They look good, nice and clean. Bear with me, be right back. Okay, now, next step, our breakers. Slotted, see that? That goes right in the bus bar itself, right here. So there's a, a, a part for the back side here, it just clips in, there. And this slips right in here. Make sure it's straight and it pops in. Simple. Two, my board's gonna fall over. Very muscular today. That's what it is, pushing over walls. You know, the King Kong thing. Uh -huh. So, let's land these, our circuit breakers, for our branch circuits. Same thing, push it to the wall. Make a nice little bend in it, make an L, then it's gonna come out straight. So here we go. Bear with the noggin in here. I know the head's gigantic. It's like a giant bucket in your view, you know. Hey, move your head. It's like, I can't, you see the size of this thing? So, okay, we do the same thing and we land them. Nothing to it, nothing to it. Right underneath the terminal screw. This is, the, you just make sure that they're nice and tight. You miss it. Sometimes you can screw it in and you don't even know that it's not even in there. You just know that the circuit doesn't work. One of the first things you check and you tug on it. Just a little tug, make sure that you got it. Nothing to it. Same thing with this. Down the line, strip it out about half an inch. You've got, you know, on your strippers, you've got your gauges where your number 14 is. Your white's the 14 again. We're going to get into that. For why it's 14, the amperage, the 15 amp breakers. We're going to get into why. A short version of why. I'm going to tell you what it goes to. I'm going to tell you what wire goes to what breaker. Simple as that. You don't need to ask any questions. You got 15 amp wire. You better use 15 amp breaker. Number 14 for a 15 amp breaker. So that's what we're doing. Again, everything we're doing is a safeguard your property in your life. That's, that's, that's what the code book was written for. It's in the beginning of the code book why it's code. And Clean, that. straight in. Now, there's more to it than this. It's a simple, quick and easy version. There's grounding and bonding and then the service is complete. But for right now, this is the service. This is what you need to know. 